Food is the primary concern of the ordinary people. So says an old Chinese proverb. How could traditional Chinese food serve the needs of people today and better expand into the global markets? That has been a challenge for Chinese food enterprises. The mashed shrimp meat surely does not taste as good as a whole shrimp. For we drivers, to ensure timely delivery is quite tough. One of the hard parts lies in our limited knowledge of relevant laws and regulations of the U.S. My name is Li Wenjong, currently working on product development. My job mainly focuses on the technical research on frozen rice and flour recipe foods, testing on their flavors, tastes, etc. Take frozen dumplings as an example. First, we need to design a formula. A good formula emphasizes the proportion of meat and vegetables and a balance of tastes. Then we'll conduct recipe testing in a lab. After we get a satisfying recipe, we'll bring it to the factory for trial production. Then the product will go on sale. I have worked in Sinier for almost 20 years, and I can see the innovative gene of the company. What has impressed me most was the development of Sinier Shrimp Supreme Dumplings. At that time, there was never such a product of a dumpling with a whole shrimp wrapped in it. The mashed shrimp meat surely does not taste as good as a whole shrimp. So, we carried out a lot of research. From the wrapper to the filling, from the thickness of the wrapper to the proportion of meat and the size of the shrimp, we tried many times. And finally, we found an ideal recipe with a satisfying taste. Then we came up with the Sinier Shrimp Supreme Dumplings after two years of research. As a core product initiated by us, the dumpling has won wide recognition among the consumers since it went on sale. Since the outbreak of the COVID-19, our R&D department has developed a dozen of new frozen products to cater to the needs of consumers, including braised noodles, rice balls, and fried rice. So, consumers have more choices of products. I have joined the logistics service for Sinier Food for more than seven years. This trip is from the Sinier factory to Sinchun Cold Storage. It is cold chain transport. The temperature must be kept at minus 18 degrees Celsius. It takes more than two hours for a single trip. Freight delivery during the pandemic is very difficult. To meet the requirements of epidemic control, I basically eat and sleep on the truck. So, to ensure timely delivery is quite tough. To make a proper schedule is a big problem for us drivers. As a cold chain transportation driver, to ensure the timely arrival of senior products, we've worked out different measures to ensure transportation safety. We create a proper schedule and make a plan when loading up. When to eat, when to sleep, where to have a break, these will be well arranged. So, I am not so nervous now. Timely delivery is achievable. The government policies are also supportive of truck drivers. Transportation is not delayed in and around Zhengzhou. For interprovincial trips, we've got a pass. Both the factories and the transportation departments give great support to us truck drivers, and always solve problems as soon as possible. Now, both consumers in China and those living abroad can eat such food products frozen fresh. Since 2003, Sinier has started overseas market expansion. Up to now, Sinier products have been exported to more than 50 countries and regions. The biggest problem we've encountered was to set up a factory in the U.S. in 2017. The qualifications of our equipment shipped to the U.S., and the raw materials for building the factory, needed to be recorded in local departments, and verified by local laws and regulations. We expected to get all these done within half a year based on our experience here in China. But actually, the whole process took two years in the U.S. So, it was a test for us. Currently, the market share of our frozen dumplings, Tong Yuan and steamed buns ranks first in the Chinese markets in the U.S. The expansion of Sinier in overseas markets can be attributed to several aspects. First, we were early to start the overseas business. Second, though we set up a factory in the U.S., our R&D team and product team are based in China. After a product is developed in China, the factory in the U.S. copies the formula. To meet the demands of our overseas consumers, we will adjust the flavor and packaging of our products. And third, we've received help from different sectors in building the factory in the U.S. 
Now, the Sinier factory in the U.S. has reached full production capacity, and is being expanded and remodeled. The total production capacity is expected to be three times higher than that of today. The company is also preparing to build factories in Thailand, Australia and Europe, or to purchase local ones. It has been more than two years since the outbreak of the pandemic, and it has brought some impacts on our work and life. Sinier is part of the real economy, and has risk resistance capacity. The whole team, including myself, is full of confidence. Of course, we hope the pandemic will end soon, so that we can meet our overseas customers face to face. When we launched the overseas business, we needed to go to exhibitions and find customers. During the past two years, although we cannot go abroad, we have no difficulties in finding customers. They would call us directly, hoping to be our dealers. I think it is a reflection of national confidence and cultural confidence. Indeed, Chinese products are becoming more and more popular overseas. I hope Sinier's overseas development will help spread the Chinese food culture to the world. It is also our mission and responsibility.